Hey everybody, Fiber Spider back again with what I presume to be the conclusion of Tin Hearts. I'm sorry that I cut it where I did in the last episode, but I don't want to rush. I don't want to rush. All right, let's 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 see what happens. Okay, back downstairs. Oh no, into this room. Okay. Dear Lydia. How convenient that Rose and her family would be traveling to the sea on the day that I pay you a visit. What I am still trying to piece together is how you even knew when I'd be visiting. Is Mrs. Gladstone spying in on my movements on your behalf? Is that it, Lydia? I am writing to let you know that two can play at that game. I have very little left in my old age, but there is one thing I do have. That is time. They can't stay at the summer house forever. I will return, you can be sure of it. I will return, and I will wait. Dear Lydia, I will get to if Ernest wants to escort me away from the premises, he should have the decency to do it himself, rather than send your groundskeeper to do it for him. And don't think I didn't see you rushing Rose away from the window. What exactly is going on here, Lydia? I thought you were on my side, but I am starting to believe that this is not the case. Dear Rosie, this is your father. You may be surprised to be receiving this letter. You may find it hard to believe it's genuine. Or maybe you already know I've been desperately trying to reach you. I'm really not sure what to think anymore. But either way, the fact of the matter is, is that I am. I am desperately trying to reach you. Dear Lydia, I am sorry I lost my temper and fabricated those ridiculous allegations. You are right. They were ridiculous, uh, and I am not sure what got in me. Dear Henry, you don't know me, but you will probably be very surprised to learn that for the past three years, you've been married to my daughter. Dear Ernest, oh you can't God. keep doing this. Do you think you are the only lawyer in town? You know who I am, you know who I've been, and you know the reach of my previous employer's network. Dear Violet, the fact I haven't contacted them, this is your grandpa. I make toys. I would love to show you some of the toys Dear I've Rose. made one day. I made many, many toys for many little Dear boys Rose. and many little girls, but my favorite little girl to make toys for was your mum. When she Rose. was little, I made oh. lots of lovely toys just for her. Please, I've made you. why won't you let me see them? Just let me talk to her for a few moments, and then I will disappear again if that's what you want. Dear Rose, I just wanted for you to be happy. Yours, Albert. This is so heartbreaking. <laughs> it's just, it's so, it is so heartbreaking. I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying not to cry. <coughs> it's not easy. I'm trying to be strong. Please don't die yet, please. No. Uh. 
Oh god. <laughs> uh, this game is heart wrenching. It's like, okay, here are your heartstrings. Let me yank them. Oh gosh. I I need some happy happy stuff. I need a happy ending. I know that life is not always like a fairy tale, but I need a happy ending. Uh, why do I have a feeling I'm in the doll's house? I have a very distinct feeling that I'm in a doll's house. Yeah. Look. <gasps> I'm in the study. I'm I I'm in the study. Oh, okay. All right. We're we're playing this. Okay. Wish I could pull that. All right. And I can't possess anything that I know of. This is very surreal. This reminds me of an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Where a girl went into a dollhouse that looked like her own house and... Oh, God. Okay, can we get out through here? Nope. The other door? Maybe. Come on. Aha! Okay, this is surreal. This is very surreal. Ooh. Okay. Yes? Maybe if I turn it this way. Oh, it's open. Is that violent? Yeah. <gasps> Hi. Was it open this whole time? Ooh, what a peculiar room. Violet? Hello? Is anyone in here? Hi. It's my granddaughter. Ooh. So many beautiful things. Oh, pretty box. What secrets are you hiding, pretty box? Soldiers. Violet. Violet? Ah, oh, there you are. Can't you hear me calling, child? How... How did you get in here? I thought this room was locked. Ah! Mummy, Mummy, look! Oh, Violet, what have you done now? Look, Mummy, it's a little soldier. He just came out that box. I asked you not to touch anything <laughs> while we're in this house, remember? Look at him go, Mummy! Where is he going now? Ah! Did you see that? That toy cannon fired a ball. <laughs> Please, Violet, let us go now. Oh, the ball from the cannon? Push the train. Look. Yes, dear. Where did I am the little looking. soldier go? I am looking. There he is. <laughs> What's this toy over here? I believe that is a balloon machine, dear. A balloon ma- 
Look, Mummy, it's moving, it's moving. It's blowing up a balloon. <laughs> yes, I can see that. Look, off he goes. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Mr. Soldier. Wait for me. What are all these other contraptions over here? Ooh, bouncy. Don't get too close, please. Look, he's going in that little house, Mummy. That is the strange looking toy I have ever seen. Yes, well, that's not exactly a toy, you see. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. He just came out on the other side. Oh, but look, there's another one now. Back there, can you see? There's two of them now, Mummy, look! <laughs> yes, dear, there's two of them. I know, I know. <laughs> it looks like this one is going into... Oh, where did he go? He got sucked into that machine. Did you see? Where did oh, he go? Oh, no. He's not broken, is he? No, he's not broken, dear. He's just not quite there anymore, I suppose. The other one is still there. But oh, down the here. Where did the one go? Violet, here. Come take a look. Oh, he, he's back. Hello, Mr. Soldier, sir. Where are you headed to now, I wonder? I wonder the same thing. And is your little friend still there? Maybe in there? Ah, yes. There he is. Oh. And you're going that way, and you're going that way. Okay. Where do you think they're going to, Mummy? I'm not entirely sure, dear. <gasps> Mummy, look! Oh. Look, it's an enormous dollhouse. Oh. Yes, the little soldiers made it appear, did you see? As if by magic. Yes, dear, I, I see it. Oh, Mummy, look. It is so pretty. <laughs> Aww. Isn't that... Isn't that the house we're in? Mm -hmm. It is, isn't it, Mummy? Look, the big white door with the pretty colours. And look, you can see the rooms too, through the windows. That's the room upstairs with a big piano. You can even see the room we're in, Mummy. It's the same house, isn't it? Isn't it, Mummy? Mummy, are you... are you crying? <laughs> Come. I love you so much. You know that? Sit. I think it's time I told you a story. A story? Like a fairy tale. Hmm. I suppose. Only this one is actually real. It's a story about the man who built that dollhouse. It's a story about your grandfather. your wife. She was your muse, I think. Okay, it kind of had a happy ending, okay? It wasn't, you know, like... It didn't completely end on a down note. It was like a bittersweet... kind of moment. No. Oh. 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 No. <laughs> um... Are we having the credits now? Is that it? Trophy earned. Parting gift. Follow me. Take my hand. Let me 
trophy earned, enlightened. Oh, so good! Oh. I tell you, this is quite possibly one of the best puzzle games that I have played in I don't remember how long. Seriously. And I've said it before, and I've meant it, and I still mean it. Five stars. Five out of five, ten out of ten, two thumbs up, no, no, no knuckles down, no, it seriously. There were a couple of bugs, you know, there were there were a couple of tricky buggy type spots, but other than that, which I was able to get around, other than that, no, I absolutely love this game. Totally well worth it. Um, I, I want to say it was like maybe $30 or so uh, on the, the PlayStation Store. Totally worth it, you know. I've, I've played other games for the same price that were half as long and half as good. This one rocked my little world, okay? The animations, the the music, uh, the, the mechanics, the fluidity, uh, the, the building up of puzzles, and the, the building up of the difficulty, and the various mechanics that were employed. The flow was awesome, okay? And there was a story to it. It wasn't just a puzzle game. No, there actually had a, a really nice, heartwarming story in the background the entire time that, you know, kept you engaged. Absolutely love this game. As if you couldn't tell. So, so, so very good. Um, totally recommend it, you know. Uh, even if you've watched this entire playthrough and now know how to do all of the puzzles, I still totally recommend it. Um, and if I were going to go 100% completionist, I'm sure that there are tons of, um, uh, uh, of those little medals that I could, you know, uh, work on completing, which I might do on my own time. I'm not going to do that as part of this playthrough series, but um, seriously, I earnestly hope that this development team, that they make more games. And if, because I think that this is the only one, I really hope that they make more. If they are, if there are other games by this development team, please let me know in the comments section. Um, because I'm in love with their work. So, yeah, there you go. And what's funny is that the playthrough itself, actually, it took a lot longer than I thought that it would, and that is not a complaint, no. Uh, it's actually a compliment, because I was worried that it was going to be relatively short. I mean, some of the puzzles were pretty darn long, um, so the overall length of the game, it, it totally worked. I didn't feel that there was any part of it that, that was uh, sort of milked and drawn out and, you know, just like add breadcrumbs and you got a meatloaf. No, I mean, it, it felt that it, it worked, for lack of a better word. You know, it, it worked the entire time and, uh... Ah, so, so good. I just want to see if there's anything at the end of the credits. Um, by the way, it was, if I'm not mistaken, it was Costas that actually was the person that responded to me in a previous uh, email uh, that I had sent them when I was having issues with the glove. It was Costas that I was in touch with. And uh, yes, I was totally fangirling because I've never reached out to a development team before let alone get a response so lovely that I got. Um, 
Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm gushing, I'm blubbering, I'm yabbering, I know, I know, but... This was just such a great experience. Honestly and truly. Just wondering if there's any, like, slight little thingamajiggies at the end. Now, also, another thing that I'm curious about. In the study, there was a movie projector. I'm wondering if that is something that I can play with. I don't know. We'll see. These are some long credits, man. But they, you know what? Whoever it was that worked on this game... Excuse me. Whoever it was, you know, all the people that worked on this game, they deserve credit because, you know, they, they blew my mind. Yeah, every which way. Okay, looks like we are approaching the end. Yes? Here we go. And... Oh, Sharon. Oh, see? That, this is what I was thinking. Is there something else? Okay. We've got a miscreant. Ah. Trophy earned. Machinations. Okay. Got a lot of trophies. Okay, is this going to lead us back to the study, pray tell? Probably so. I don't know, we'll see. Survey says... Epilogue. Epilogue? Is that what we just did? I don't know. But yeah, see, uh, here is the, the projector. Now? Hmm. Can I do something with the screen? No. Okay. Uh... That was just so stinking cool. How, you know, let him out of the box and he went and he, and he did, did the little thing. That was so cool. Now, out of morbid curiosity, because it does say continue game. I just want to see, is this, you know, like what we just did? Because if it is, we're, I'm not going to play through the entire thing again, no. But I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious as a kitten in a yarn store. Just want to see for myself. And I want to have it recorded in case if there is a something something. And... Oh, okay, yeah, so that this is back to what we did previously. Okay. And I can't... I can't just go back into the study because I'm already in the study. All right, well, that being said, listen, everybody, I want to thank all of you so very much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this series. Absolutely in love with this game. Absolutely, positively in love with this game. Couldn't have been more delighted with it. Um, the the slight glitches and bugs that I encountered, yeah, they were a bit of a nuisance. But other than that, 10 out of 10 stars. Absolutely love it. And I couldn't recommend it enough to all of you. So thank you for watching. Hope you liked it. And I hope that you have a great, great day. And stay tuned for more because I post daily on this channel. And uh, if you haven't already, hit subscribe and let me know what you thought of this game in the comments section down below. Until then, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.